Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Andrea Speaks TV. I'm your host, Andrea. Back to bring you more news and commentary you can use. Listen, y'all, I'm actually in the kitchen. Uh, I got some food that I'm cooking in the oven. Uh, right now I'm roasting some uh, vegetables. I have some uh, turkey drumsticks, uh, lemon pepper turkey drumsticks. I have some cut up uh, Vidalia onions over them. I'm about to put some aluminum foil over it and uh, put those in the oven. But uh, what I wanted to come on and talk to you all about uh, is just to kind of give you some thoughts on uh, what's happening concerning uh, everything that's going on in the country of Israel. I'm pretty sure you've seen it on the news by now. And in fact, we have even talked about it on the channel. Uh, what I want to say was uh, what I have chosen to do. Now, again, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. But I've chosen to not uh, look at the images. Um, you know, of course, the news media, they're going to try to show uh, devastation. I'm just pouring some water in my pan here, just in case you all hear the sound of water. Of course, they're going to show um, pictures of devastation, destruction. I'm choosing not to look at all of that um, just because I want to keep a uh, positive, you know, mindset. Uh, positive attitude you know also what i want to share is you know many people uh many people um from what i have read uh even you know people uh that i've listened to many people um many people feel a sense of um helplessness i guess is the word or maybe a feeling of some type of discouragement, loss of hope uh, during this time. Um, a lot of it has to do with what's happening in the country of Israel, the state of our own country. Um, you know, I think about also, let me sneeze y'all, hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, I think about the fact that, um, you know, they say, uh, I gotta do some more research on this, but they say that the people uh, who launched the, what is allegedly a surprise attack, right? On the country of Israel. Um, the group, you all know the name of the group is not, you know, you can go and do your research on that. Um, a lot of people have questions about how, what, how is it? Okay, I don't know how advanced their military is or their defense mechanisms. But there are some questions being raised as to how was Israel caught off guard? How were they completely caught off guard, not prepared for, um, you know, such an attack? Um, and, you know, I think about two things, right? I think about our own country. I think about uh, the fact that our borders seem like a wide open uh, and have been for several months, even some would say even over a year, maybe longer than that. Uh, people coming into our country from different from other countries, right? Whether they're escaping um, some type of tragedy in their own country. You know, I said this before and I'll say it again. We can't assume or should not assume that everyone is coming uh, to do some type of harm. There are people who are coming actually to start a, a new way of life, a better way of life, seeking peace, protection, and being able to provide for their family. Uh, I'm talking about men, and women, and children, right? But then, you know, at the current times we're living in, it makes you wonder, um, and even thinking about uh, tragic events that have happened in our country's history, it makes you wonder, you know, um, who among us, right? Who among us, um, you know, who among us? I'll just leave it at that. Um, so the fact that our borders are wide open, some of these people um, are taking, you know, uh, shelter in different uh, communities, cities around the United States. So much so that the residents, uh, Americans of those cities are calling out saying, hey, don't forget about us. OK, I made a community post here on the channel a video where a lady from Chicago was speaking about how some of the vacant homes or um uh, I won't say necessarily vacant, but the housing, you know, she was bringing attention to the fact that, hey, you know, you all are taking away housing from us. You know, the people of Chicago, 
born and raised there or, you know, Americans living there and giving that same housing to people who are coming over who are not from our country, right? Um, there are some great concerns about that. Um, I'm not here to say what's right, what's wrong. You could do your research on that and form your own opinion. But when you think about that, okay, and I'm also going to bring something to your attention that may not be talked about, okay? It may not really be talked about now in headline news, but I got some information, okay, just doing my research, right? Now, I'm going to uh, bring your attention to something that happened. I want to say it's been two years now, two years ago since uh, our country seemed like abruptly, okay, um, left Afghanistan, withdrew troops from Afghanistan, and from my research, now, someone can correct me if I'm wrong, from my research, our military, right, the administration, for whatever reason, decided to leave so many, um, I don't know, millions of dollars or so many different um, amounts of military equipment in the country, okay? And since then, since that time, another group, okay, uh, took over uh, the country of Afghanistan and many people were left to feel like, well, after 20 years or 20 plus years of war there, how is it now that this particular group, and you can, uh, that name starts with a T, okay? You can do your research on that as well. How is it that this group is back in power? Now, I have some reports. I haven't been able to confirm it yet, but there are some reports out there that that one group that starts with a T is seeking to align with the other group that starts with an H, okay? That's the last thing that, you know, uh, people feel like needs to happen, right? And so... Um, when you think about that, right, and you think about the fact that I've said this before, not many people are happy, right? Not many people are happy with our country and the way the country is being ran. Uh, I've spoken on that before. People, I'm talking about other countries are not pleased with the um, some of the policies and some of the um, you know outcomes that our current administration has made. And so when you lay all the cards out on the table... You know, um, you just realize that, you know, whoa, wait a minute, what's coming next? And so, you know, I don't, I never want to instill fear in people. This is not a channel where I'm fear mongering or I want to make you scared. I want to bring your awareness to what's currently happening, what has happened and what could possibly be to come in a, uh, attempt to, um, you know, make you aware so that you can prepare, protect, and provide for yourself and your family. But um, again, y'all, how I want to ask the questions. How did we get to where we are now as a country? Um, it's the U.S. I asked a question on the. Um, I asked a question here on the channel on the community tab with the uh, funding to Ukraine now blocked, right, by the recent uh, spending package. I asked the question: Do you believe that our current administration? will fund now or send funding to the country of Israel to help them fight this alleged war. And I believe at the time of this video, uh, most of you, if not all of you, has said yes. So again, y'all, who's going to pay for that? Where's the money going to come from? Again, I'm not saying that I don't feel like people should get help in times of need or in times of some type of tragedy, war. You know, there is a certain humanitarian duty, as I have always said before, but in that same uh, process, you cannot uh, forget about the American people. You know, we have a lot that's happening here in our own country. You know, people are, uh, as rents rise, as housing becomes um, unaffordable, many people are left trying to find homes. Um, so much so that they're even saying now that in communities across the country, <laughs> some some homeowners um, are having trouble with squatters taking residence into different uh, vacant homes and things like that. So, um, you know, there are different concerns. Uh, people have rising concerns regarding their uh, health care insurance premiums. For many people, this is a time of year for depending on your career, uh, what job you have. Many people are uh, going through a process called um, open enrollment where they're making changes to their current health benefits for the upcoming uh, new year, 2024. And many people are seeing uh, huge increases, right, in their health insurance premiums. Now, at the same time, for uh, some people, their income, okay, is not rising at the same rate 
And so they're having more expenses, whether it be health insurance premiums, whether it be uh, increased grocery prices, whether it's increased gas prices. Okay, let me also say with this whole situation going on now in Israel, I saw a report that the uh, price of oil is expected to rise. What does that mean for you and I? Um, increased gas prices, okay? And I share with you all that here in my state of Georgia, um, our governor has now uh, extended, okay, the um, current um, suspension of our gas tax. So here in Georgia, uh, we are paying um, less per gallon of gas than in some areas, which, you know, is a blessing. Every saving counts, right? I'm putting my food in the oven now. But we just got to look at, you know, what's going on, y'all. We got to look at what's going on and, you know, not to be fearful because... A lot of this is out of our control, right? Much of this is out of our control. I'm um, setting my uh, oven. But uh, still, okay, now is definitely not the time to give up on preparing. And I would even say if you have not uh, started preparing, uh, it's not too late. I don't. The reason why I say it's not too late, you know, get food while you can, while it's available. Grow your own food, preserve your own food, freeze your own food, grow your own food. Um... Now, some people may say, okay, Andrea, it is too late, but as long as there's food in the store and you're able to get the things you need uh, to purchase the things you need, I would say uh, get it and that it's not too late. Now, is it too late to get lower prices? Very well could be, okay? I always say that yesterday's prices are not today's prices, um, but, you know, by all means, put away food for both short-term and long-term storage. Make sure you have water in your... Um, emergency uh food supply and survival needs as well y'all they're still talking about different situations happening with the water uh, i got to do some more research and follow up with you about what's going on concerning new orleans and the fact that there was uh allegedly supposed to be salt water intrusion in their drinking water um and so you know there are different things happening uh every day that we wake up we're alive we have good health it's reasons to be thankful so what i'm saying is don't let the current times get you down uh down in the dumps so to speak uh still be encouraged still have faith still uh wake up every day you know saying hey i can do this we're going to get through this and know that everything will be all right okay uh, it's going to take some action on your part and mine okay i'm not just saying sit here and do nothing again continue to prep uh get the things that you need put away food for long-term short-term storage have your water in your emergency food supply and also, um, you know, learn, learn as many skills as possible. Many people, uh, there are some people, many people who are taking up uh, second jobs just to help make ends, not only to help make ends meet with increased expenses, but to also have money to put away uh, for a, uh, what they call, you know, the expression, put away for a rainy day. Um, those are some of the things that, you know, I would encourage you uh, to do. Uh, you know, find extra ways to legally, okay? I'm not going to tell you to do something illegal, right? But find extra ways to legally, you know, make some money, whether it's to make extra money, whether you, even if you have to sell some things, okay? You can uh, take some things to the consignment store or have a yard sale. You can take that money, get you some emergency food supply, okay? Some people may say, well, Andrew, I don't have any extra money to get uh, extra food. It's hard enough just trying to buy everyday food. But I'm just giving you some ideas again how you can make, you know, some extra money, sell some things. Um, you know, you can use social media platforms. You can have a yard sale, look at community groups and um, or like I said, to the consignment store, um, things like that. Just some ideas. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. Um, also, please make sure. OK, we're going into the uh, it's fall now. We're going into the fall winter months. Make sure you have backup energy, okay? Whether it's solar generator, gas generator, please do your research on both, okay? Know what you're getting into. Know how to properly use it, how to put it together. Um, make sure you have backup energy, okay? Power, make sure you have batteries um, in the event of a power outage, okay? Do you still have a way to cook, okay? If it's the uh, winter months, fall, winter months, do you have a way to heat your home, okay? If the power goes out. Uh, if for some reason you need to cool your home, okay, do you have different methods and ways to do that? So again, y'all just give me some things to think about. Um, given the current times that we're living in, 
and I want to know your thoughts, okay? So I hope, hopefully I have said something to help you. Again, y'all, don't look at what's going on. It may be easier said than done, okay? Some of you all may feel like, hey, time is ticking. I got to speed up what I'm doing um, before SHTF-ish hits the fan. Um, and it also makes you wonder, okay, are we headed for the next world war, okay? The, the uh, other reports that I'm getting say that countries are um, lining up, okay? This country is supporting that country. Certainly, I've talked about it here on the channel where... Uh, even prior to this particular situation, countries have formed alliances for whatever reason. What is going to become of it now with this uh, Israeli war? Okay, have you? Do you have questions about the timing of all of this? I certainly do. Okay, so but I want to hear from you. Please like this video. That lets me know that you enjoyed the content. Please leave a comment. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this particular topic. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, I do want to invite you to subscribe. Okay. Thank you all so much for your support. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope I've said some things to not only help you, but to get you to thinking about the current times and to stay encouraged and take action to protect and provide for yourself and your family, okay? All right, stay tuned, y'all. I'll be back with more news and commentary you can use right here on Andrea Speaks TV.